What is up, YouTube? This is Novice Garage. Welcome yep. to 2018, the official first video of the year. We're pumped. Yeah, I'm excited. For any of y'all that are new here, my name is Gabe. My name is Zuck. My name is Jeff. And <laughs> this is Novice Garage. And this is the $600 daily mudder. Yup. So, <laughs> tell us a little bit about it, Zach. Well, first off, it's a 1991 XJ. Four wheel drive, obviously. Welded diff in the back is a Dana 30. Dana 30 in the back and a Dana 20 in the front. Also, Do you know what Dana means? Uh, no, my uncle just told me. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to clarify that. <laughs> right now, I'm having some rubbing issues with the with the tires. The factory rims on it have a negative offset. So right now in the back, as we speak, the back tires are constantly rubbing on the leaf spring bolts. So I actually ordered a new set of steely rims. They come in a positive offset, a neutral offset, my bad. So it's gonna stick my wheels out a little bit three to four inches more wider. And so right now it's all just factory stock besides the welded diff in the rear, suspension lift, little odds and ends here and now and then, and the factory broken windshield. Yep. I love it. It's a $600 daily mudder. And this is gonna be my daily right after I fix the windshield next week. I don't think the words daily and mudder go together, but that's just me. We're like looking around, like we could easily turn this to like a little off road park. Yeah. It's, it's, it's got potential. Yeah, I mean. Goalies, I mean, little rivers where you can twist your frame, you know? Yep, yep. Little ditches, pulling up the hills and going up that way, a little hill climbing right there. That, that, that's exactly what I was thinking, yep, yep. Yeah, like, you know what y'all could do is y'all could start a business. A miniature off-roading park. Yeah, that's what y'all could do. <laughs> like, straight up. Get like get some really uh, half-assed waivers to sign so people won't sue you and you're good. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good point. <laughs> that's a pretty good idea, Dale. Shit. <laughs> Can't wait to get the third fives on there. Yeah. I'm giving, giving me some 35s. Yeah. What, this week? Yeah. So, okay, so we need to right now, get your ass over here. Hold on. We need to make a promise to the subscribers and ourselves. How often are we going to post? Once a week? I think we can do it. I say, once, I say at least once a week. The wind's really bad. Oh, by yeah. The way, so. <laughs> All right, so here's our quick less than five minute rundown of the new project car that hopefully we have longer than two weeks. Let's do it. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a lot longer. Uh, currently sitting on, I have no idea what size tires, but they're constantly rubbing, so ordering some new rims. <laughs> and then this Sunday, I'm picking up myself some 35 inch mud tires for it. And yeah, it has a little basic lift to it. So with 35s on it, it's going to add like all together. It's going to have like a six inch lift all together for it. Yep. Um, it has a welded diff in the rear, a Dana 30 and a Dana 20 in the front. Um, two basic pot lights in the front, a secondary fan. So whenever you're crawling, uh, you can turn that fan off. So you keep help keeps the temps a little bit lower. Let's talk about this broken windshield. What's the story behind this? Oh yeah. The, the owner was telling me, he was like, well, we're a four by four and the branch, I thought it was a little bit higher than what it was, he uh -huh. said, and turned out it wasn't. Yeah. It was a little too low. Yeah. So I kind of drove straight into it. Gotcha. And the funny thing is, this car, this Jeep has not been street legal in 18 years. Wow. So yeah. By, that's as old as we are. Yeah. Minus a year. Yeah. By next yeah. by next week, it should be street legal. This has seen some. We you think we've seen some? Sh oh, this some crap. Shit. Like some the, crap. This, this has seen some abuse. Yeah. Oh yeah. A lot I'm of. Gonna see a lot more abuse. Yeah. Before we jump to the interior, I like this uh, custom steel bumper we got going. Oh yeah, it has three. It has, is uh, three eighths steel plating? Is that like? Is that? Is it to the frame? I hope not the subframe. Uh, no, that's a bolt on. It's bolt on. Yeah. So we could put a winch on it, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's, I, was, I was already planning on putting a winch right here. Yeah, I, I, really, I really do like that. Like it, you know, it doesn't take no crap. So uh, let's oh. go ahead and jump to the interior real quick. Yeah. All right. So this is the really um, the shagging wagon. Yeah, the shaggy wagon. Yeah, shagging wagon. Oh, shagging. Shat, S H shagging I N wagon. Shagging wagon. This is the creeper jeeper. <laughs> I like that better. <laughs> the interior is absolutely shot. I really don't care about it. I'm going to end up ripping this whole, when has whole Zach, deal out. Honest question. When has Zach honestly cared about his interior? Never. Never. Yeah. I really don't care. I'm just going to rip it all out. But yeah, everything works. It's uh, needs some new tie rods. But uh, um, needs a new heater everything. Works. Yeah, but heater works fantastic, dude. <laughs> Oh, it was keeping it's me right. warm. Hey, you got myself some cup hanging. This right is not here. even Zach's. This yeah, came with the mine. Jeep, and it's been there since you bought it. Yeah, I decided yep. to move it. And then look at the roof. 
Well, the beer cans. I think we already touched on the beer cans, right? Oh yeah, the beer, they, they've just been chilling there. Yep. Like they're not yep. mine. This is when I bought the Jeep, I totally forgot there was beer cans sitting uh -huh. out there, and I just have yet to remove them. And I I just being really lazy. I don't feel like t grabbing them. Like even yep. though I'm right here, I just don't feel like grabbing them. And yeah. Currently, these wheels, they're factory rims from the factory. They come at a negative offset. So the tires that are actually on the rims are too big for the rim itself. Since the rims uh -huh. have a negative offset, let me see the camera, and I can show you guys what I'm talking about. Right there, that bolt is what's making contact with my tire. So how bad is it? Let's see, here, hold the camera real quick. How bad is it? You can see. It's not that bad. Oh, yeah. you're, you're good to go. You're good to go. Wheel it. Yeah. You know what I mean. But um, so since they're at negative offset, since I need new rims, I purchased me some uh, steely rims. They were forty bucks each. Came with like one hundred and seventy bucks for all new set of rims. Yep. Which was really cheap for steel rims, but um, those rims come at a neutral offset, so it's going to actually stick my wheels out about three to four inches even wider from the tire itself. Yeah. From the deal itself. And then when I put my 35s on this weekend, it's going to set a lot higher and we're going to have a lot more grip in this terrain. And that, the motor runs great, the tranny runs great, everything works pretty fantastic on this Jeep. And yeah, I absolutely love it. I think what we're going to do real quick is we're going to actually go ahead and try to do a little uphill test. Am I right? Oh shit. <laughs> I think we can totally do it, bro. I, I, I'm really liking uh, this little this little lump in the ground right here, this little hill. I, 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 go, I think we I'm could do go it. Right there, and then just try to go up that. All right, Zach's gonna go ahead and try to do a little climb here. I, w I picked the wrong shoes today. I got the sneakers on. I should have brought the boots or something. <laughs> Zach is crazy. Jesus Christ. That, that actually was really easy. This is actually the first vehicle we've had that has deployed a wel uh, welded diff. I apologize in advance for the wind, because it sucks. <laughs> it looks so funny. This little tiny gas bin. Is that- $13 how, yeah, for I, a gallon. I was gonna ask, how much you pay for that? <laughs> $13, dude. That's, I was expecting at least 10 bucks. Dude. Plus the price of the actual gas. This is a $15 fill up. Yeah. Well, yeah, because you put 1.2 gallons. No, you put like $5 on this pump. Why? You know it's a one gallon bin. I don't know. I had about 1.2 gallons. I had a $5 bill. My car is going to smell like freaking gas now, thanks to Zach. It was going to smell like gas either way. <laughs> Dick. Just a quick side note the video where, like, we tried to break the Subaru windshield is actually starting to get some views now. Like, it's it's starting to go up, which is it's so exciting. It's like I don't know. It's just, so we'll post the video, right? And then it'll get it'll get its views, and it usually dies down forever. And then this video got revived or something. I don't know. The YouTube algorithm's hooking us up with those views, though. So I guess Zach didn't really expect how much that gas can was gonna cost. Thirteen dollars for a gallon of gas. Fifteen actually. Yeah, it was a lot of money. I'm really surprised you just didn't go grab a milk jug out of the pantry. Honestly. Okay, I was thinking about it, but then I was like, how am I gonna get the gas into the deal? The top? This is it rocket science? <laughs> it's so oh. it's so ricky dicky, it's so tiny. I don't like this. What? Too small. Too small? Mm-hmm. That's what she said. You can literally hear how empty it is. Yeah. Listen to this guys. <laughs> Alright! Let's get it, let's get it! Oh god. Whew. All right. Got my wheels turned. Got four wheel low. We're just gonna crawl right through this. And hopefully the freaking uh, camera up top doesn't fall down.
the deuce. Baby, I know you can get up there. Uh. Okay, you know what? Hold on. I'm gonna look at where I'm coming at. Well, that didn't work out as planned. Traction. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back out, go this way, because that's all stuck. Well, it's not even, no, it's the first episode with the Jeep and we already got stuck. Yeah. Actually, Zach already got stuck. Yeah, I, got, <laughs> okay, I got it stuck trying to get out. You still got stuck. Yeah, I was like, I'm done. <laughs> I'm not gonna that's, that's pretty bad. <laughs> Go for it. So the plan is right now, we took the floor mats because they're crap anyways, and we're putting them underneath the rear wheels. So we also got this big transmission looking log thing, but the plan is to go ahead and put in reverse and hopefully get the mat to get underneath the wheel. And in the process, we're gonna put a bunch of sticks in there and hopefully it'll you know, kind of lift it up a little bit. So, okay, Zach, what's the plan? Hopefully we get this thing on stuck. <laughs> uh, right now we're going to actually tie this board. <clears throat> to this two by four and I hope it's, it's gonna grab onto the wheel. Yeah, make sure that knot's good. Yeah. <laughs> this should work. <laughs> All right, let rip. Skiing! Oh my gosh. That is so redneck. All right, man, do it for the vine. So the game plan on the other wheel is to go ahead and do whatever the hell he's doing, I guess. Yeah. It's hammer time. Well, that's actually kind of working. I guess we just said screw the mat. <laughs> Got a combo going on here. Combination. All right. Oh, triple combo. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I don't know like, either. <laughs> that 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 front is deep, dude. <laughs> your your front tires are in deeper shit than Logan Paul right now. The front. Yeah. All right. Nice and slow. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stand back just in case. Let's 
Slow. Oh, sh hey, keep. All right, all right, we got progress. It is underneath the wheel. Pause. We need to put stuff underneath that wheel. See? It lifted it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just gotta make a bridge for it to come onto, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, we just hooked chains up to it. Hopefully it works. We'll see. Slow! No! You're good. Stop. Stay out. I just got my nice little step ladder. All right, guys. So we're just gonna end this episode here. Um, this thing is not coming out today. Next episode, we'll get it out. So, yeah. He's gonna gun it now. He's just gonna send it. Thank you guys so much for watching. This really sucks. This is a great way to start off the New Year's, right, Zach? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> if you're new or if you're not new, definitely subscribe. We're gonna, on Sunday, that's when I'm going to pick up my new tires. Yeah. On Sunday or Monday, we're gonna have to somehow jack this Jeep up and put 35 inch mud tires on here. Yeah. And try to get out. Yeah. So, it's, it's, two, it's Wednesday. Yeah. So, this thing's gonna be sitting here for at least like five, six days. Yeah. Yeah. We're almost at the point where we're just gonna go buy a winch and throw it on there, but I don't know. Yeah. Alright, peace guys. Deuces. See ya. Yeah.